Today we're going to discuss archery and talk about the different uh, types of bows. And right now we're looking at kind of a bow that probably most of us started off with as kids. And this is a design that is, uh, we can call it the uh, uh, a Native American flat bow. And the taller models were called long bows. Uh, this type of bow is very simple. It started out as as a tree limb somewhere along the line, and the limbs were tapered. A string of sinew, uh, probably deer sinew, was used to make the, the string. This is a, a real basic real basic type of bow. The, this is a good, a good choice for youngsters starting out because one bow can fit a lot of different draw lengths. A draw length is a measurement from your fist to the corner of your mouth. That would determine your draw length and the length of arrows that you would be shooting. But this bow can be shot regardless of your draw length, it can be shot at whatever length that you pull the bow back. And we'll see how that can be a, an advantage when we discuss these other bows. So that is a either a long bow in, in a longer style or a flat bow in this shorter style. From there, bow designs kind of evolved into what is what is known as the modern day recurve bow. Now this bow is a custom bow made by Don Ossenheimer from Ohio. And you can see the bow has this centerpiece which is called the riser and the limbs that bolt to the riser. So this this bow is called a takedown, a takedown recurve. So it can, the limbs can be removed and put in, into a case uh, for travel, for airplane travel or, or convenience or travel. So we see the main difference with the center riser, the limbs, and the main, one of the main uh, uh, signatures of a recurve bow is the way these limbs curve like this. Okay, that curve when when the string is released this curve adds to the velocity of the arrow because when you release the string <coughs> you get the tension the tension in the limbs controls the energy but when the string contacts this curved area it adds uh, it adds a kind of a snap to the arrow to the speed of the arrow so you have going from a flat bow of the same draw draw weight to a recurve bow, you're adding about 10% velocity with the, uh, with the recurve bow. Okay, that involvement led to the design of the modern day compound bow. Okay, again, these bows here can be shot shot at any particular draw length that that the bows are capable of drawing to. Now, uh, it can be shot by people of different different sizes and and different uh, strengths. Now, a compound bow is designed with these cams <coughs> that add energy and speed to the arrow. So, so when this bow is drawn, when the string is drawn, you notice how the cams will kind of kick over and release. So that kick over adds energy to the string, but it also relaxes the draw length as you get back to your anchor point. So in a, let's say a, uh, a 50% let off, if a bow of 100 pounds is drawn back 
to its full draw length, then you would be only holding 50% uh, or half the weight. So in a 100 pound bow, you would actually be only holding back 50 pounds. Now, now in a compound bow, because of the effect of these cams, not only do you get that let off, but you get increased velocity uh, based on the action of these cams. Uh, we'll talk about uh, cost cost of these bows. Uh, this would be a this is an entry level flat bow as we discussed, and uh, so this would be a, a very minimal price for these bows. These bows. Uh, run anywhere from 20 to 30 bucks. The custom, the custom recurve uh, is uh, is quite a bit more money because of the work, because of the work involved. And again, going to the compound bow uh, because of the mechanisms <coughs> and the type of type of riser. Again, this is called the counterpart is called the riser. And this bow, uh, this compound bow, is set up with sights uh, so that you can aim uh, uh, just like a rifle. So uh, again, this bow is actually comparable in price to this custom recurve, and these bows run from the 250 up to the five or six hundred dollar range and more. Those are basically the type of bows that, were, that are, are in use at this time. And uh, let's see if we can look at these arrows. <laughs> these are Port Orford cedar is the wood, which has been kind of the traditional uh, arrow shaft material for years. These are turkey feathers, and they are, you can see they have an angular uh, uh, angular fletch on the on the feathers that are mounted to the shaft. This is the knock in. This is the part that connects to the string. This is the point in, and you can see that this is a this is a target point, uh, and that would that would enable these arrows to stick into an archery target or uh, a straw bale or even car cardboard whatever your target butt material would be. Okay, that's just a quick quick little rundown on some uh, archery bows. And uh, in the meantime, we'll be working on maybe another video to go a little, a little more, uh, to go a little deeper into archery and uh, how, they, uh, how these different bows are shot. Well, folks, that's a that's kind of a uh, a short little introduction to the different kind of bows that are in use now, and so uh, we'll be looking in other videos. We'll be looking at more uh, some uh, shooting of the bows and some more explanation of the types of bows we're using right now. So uh, we'll see you see you again. And uh, happy hunting, happy fishing, and happy archery.